Hey, hello again, and welcome back. Thanks for joining me for the third episode in my Klingon Katinga model build series. So last episode, we finished off completing the first sub-assembly, which was the whole front and neck of the ship. And now we're just going to move on to the next section of the instructions, the nacelles here. So sub-assembly one here, and moving on to the nacelles. And here we've got all the parts for the nacelles. And I'm just going to start out here by cutting all the pieces away from the sprues and get that all ready to go. And then clean up the edges of the pieces and make them nice and clean so there won't be any marks from removing from the sprues. And we've got all the pieces cut out here. These go on the back of the cells here. Then we have this piece here and these little guys that also go on the back back here there's two per nacelle or two per side of each nacelle and I've gone and I've cut again I've shaved off the edge where I cut from the sprues so for the nacelles they are lit up with a single LED which I have here and we have this clear piece there's two little windows on either side of the nacelle that this fits into and those will light up and then on the end here it lights up to light up the back and then the other two little prongs here, when the other half of the nacelle is placed on, it'll light up those two little windows. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just throw this LED in here and throw the other half on and just light this up just to show you what it's supposed to be doing. And you can see here the two little side windows are lit. You've got the rear lit and the other two windows on the other side lit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two little pieces on to the back side here. Uh, there's one that goes on the top and then we've got another little one here that goes on the bottom. And we have these on each side of each nacelle. Then we've got the clear piece here and I'm going to take my LED and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that into position with some cement here. And then we're going to go ahead and place that in the nacelle. And I'm not going to be gluing that into position. I'm just, the nacelle will hold it, but I will be gluing the other half of the nacelle to this one. And I'm going to put those two together and it will pinch it and hold that clear plastic piece in place. And then we also have the end cap here, which I'll glue into position, which will also help secure and hold that clear plastic piece in place as well. So I've got both the cells built with the LEDs housed inside there. And both of the cells are working, lighting up and there's a little bit of some light leaks, but that should be covered up when I do my priming and painting. But before I do that, I'm going to take some of my liquid mask here and I'm going to cover up the tips of the clear plastic pieces so that when I paint, they won't get paint on them and then I'll just scrape away the uh, liquid latex at a later point in time. I'm also going to go through, I'm going to start sanding up the edges of this to try to get rid of that seam. And I've done a coat of primer here my Tamiya primer and you can still see the seam but it is smooth um, so the front of this one came out really nice looking and is smooth with my first sanding but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sand some more of the edges over the primer and then do another coat of primer and I've done this two more times now and I've gotten it to where the seam is pretty much gone it's very smooth looking and just sanding and then priming I've managed to get it really nice looking and then when the paint goes on it'll look even better. So I'm going to move on to the next section here which has the uh, matter energy sink and the hangar bay in the back and we've got these pieces here which primarily make up that whole section and I've cut them all out from the sprues I've shaved the edges to make them as clean as possible and there's a couple clear pieces that need to go in here as well. Then we have the clear red piece here which goes into this section and this is for the matter energy sink with two LEDs to light it up and then 
in here I know that there's going to be some hot spots right off the bat I can tell by the way this is and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on top here and we're gonna fire it up and take a little look at what we've got and of course you get two big hot spots like I figured from the LEDs so I've got my diffusion photo gel here and what I'm gonna do is basically just cut out some pieces that are gonna go inside this red clear plastic piece and I've done that here as I've been doing for the rest of the kit I'm gonna double this up and use two sheets and I'm just gonna put these in position right here and when we light it up there's a huge difference still a little bit of hot spot but much better so this piece here also has side pieces and that consists of four different sections here that I need to put together and it'll fit right here on the side and then we have this piece here which goes across the top got to turn it around this way and we've also got that little other piece there which goes on to the back of the side but inside here is where that little clear piece goes to be lit by this LED here so with this little clear piece in position, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that into place here with my cement. And I've gone and I've done that to both of the side portions. And then we have the LED which I need to go and put in place. And there's a hole on the side here for the wire to come through. Since again, this kit has been designed to be lit. And I'm just going to bend this a little bit and put it into these clips which are made to hold the LED in place and then I've gone and I've glued both of them in on both of the side pieces and with that done I'm gonna go ahead and glue the rest of this together I'm gonna to put this side on and then we have the top piece which goes on here and then that clear piece is right there in that little hole which will light up when lit with the LED and then this back piece here just needs to be glued into position like so. So I've got both of those all glued and obviously they light up and work as you can see there. But once again I'm gonna go through I'm gonna cover up that little clear piece of plastic with some liquid mask so that at a later point I can peel it off. So back to this section we've got a top piece here which I need to glue into position and now that I've got that glued we have the side pieces and there's a little notch here for the wire as you can see and then I'm just going to glue these two side pieces on into position here like so and with those glued on we move to the back portion and this fits right here this is the hanger and it fits on the back here but you'll also notice on this piece that there's two little holes here which also light up so I've gone and I've primed this entire section now and gotten it ready so that it can be painted so again this piece here this is the rear of this whole section here it's the hangar bay and it just fits onto the back like so but it does have these two holes that I mentioned before which have clear plastic parts to go in for lighting. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take those and I'm going to go ahead and put those into position now. And then once I have those in place where they go, I'm going to go ahead and glue them in. And with those glued in place, I'm going to Fill them in again with liquid masks so that when I paint they don't get covered up. So the LEDs are now glued into position. I'm going to go ahead and take this back section and I'm going to glue that in place right over them. And we've got that glued and you can see how those light up even through the latex you can see the LEDs. I've also done three pieces of photo gel filter here the diffusion gel and made it a little bit larger 
and I found that that seems to work better in testing. I'm going to go ahead and glue this into position into this section here. And you can see the difference. It's almost completely flat red across the board. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and I've primed the sides of this, covered this up with some tape. And all three of these pieces now are primed, wired up with their LEDs. This one all taped up in the bottom here. And they're ready for me to go ahead and start doing the body color. So I'm going to start out with some deep green here from Tamiya XF26. And I'm going to start airbrushing this onto the one nacelle here. And it looks really good. Um, the seam looks good. To be honest, I feel it's a little darker than I wanted. So I've got some Tamiya flat green here. And I'm going to start on the other nacelle. And I'm going to start one side painting this with the flat green. And with the one side of that done, compared to the first one I did, I do feel that the flat green is a little bit better color to go with to start. So I'm going to finish painting everything with that flat green, including this whole section here and the rest of the nacelles. And I've got all of them painted here, ready to go with the flat green. And they look nice, evenly coated. And again, if there's a little unevenness, that's totally fine. It'll just add to the wear and tear look of the uh, look to the warship. And you can see the LEDs are still lighting up the rear here. And you can kind of see on the side here, this little pinhole there. So with this painted and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this front portion in place. And when it comes time to weather, I'll just put a piece of tape over that front grill, but that's the color it's going to be left. So I'm going to glue this into position. So I'm just going to take some of my cement here and glue it down. And with that in place, we have the remaining two LEDs, which go right inside here. And then I'm just going to go ahead again with some cement and glue those into position as well. And now we have this whole section ready to go. And we have the two side LEDs with their plugs plug into the other LED plugs here. And we have the one plug that comes out the back to light the whole subsection assembly. I'm just going to tuck these down here. I'm actually going to take a piece of tape and just tape them down to keep them out of the way. And then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to pull this wire out and we're just going to do a quick little lighting test here. And the front I think looks great. Nice evenly lit, barely hot spots. And the side you can't really see because with the latex and the paint covering up the latex you can't really see those shining. But when I pull the latex away you obviously will. The rear ones you can still see a little bit coming through little bit of some light leaks that I'll take care of here at a later point. But overall this entire section here is looking really good. So now we have subsection 2 and subsection 3 nacelles all done ready to go. So I am going to move on to this last section here really quickly because it's a fast and easy one. It's the rear with impulse engines. And I'm just going to remove this from the sprue. And these are the pieces that consist of the rear. So I've glued these two little portions in place here. And then we have these clear red pieces of gel. And then the impulse engine housings go over top of those. And so those will light up red. But before I put those in, I'm going to start with painting the rear section. Once again, I'm going to use Tamiya Buff and Dark Iron for the color. I'm going to spray some of that on here. Um, little light so I'm going over and I've done it two more times darkened it up. I'm going to make it even a little darker for the impulse engine housings here. And this is where I've got it for right now. Obviously weathering and other stuff will come later but these are the two impulse engine housings which just fit right over here. 
Then we've got the clear red plastic pieces which fit behind the impulse engine housings here. And you can see how there's two holes there for the LEDs which will shine through and light them up. There is also a clear red piece to go in the center here for the fusion core. And of course, real bright spots here as I figured. So I'm going to take my clear pieces and I'm going to trace over my diffusion photo gel. And once again, I'm going to make some diffusion to diffuse that light and balance it out and make a little more even. And as always, again, I'm also going to use two pieces. So I put this red clear in here. I'm going to put these two little pieces of diffusion. And you can see the difference between the two sides there. So there's with two in there. And then there's also a cap to go over the center portion, which is actually the way the filming miniature was. You have an option of doing it either way. But I'm going to go ahead at this point. There's a little lip here inside these uh, impulse engine housings. I'm just going to put a little bit of super glue inside here. I'm going to glue that clear piece in place and then I've glued in my diffusion gel in place as well on both of the engine housings. And then I'm just going to take those and glue them into position on the back here. And I'll glue my center portion here. And I've also gone and I've glued my LEDs into position into the back. And so now we've got subassembly 2, subassembly 3, and subassembly 4. LEDs installed, all painted, ready to go. So I'd like to thank you once again for joining me on this episode. We're starting to get close to the finish line. Next we move on to the big body section. So once again, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.